Hello, gentlemen. Can you hear me? I know you can. The real question is, can you hear me enough? Yes. Okay. I can. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then a, a flurry of aggressive remarks. You can definitely hear me. Welcome to my humble abode. You can see it's caked in filth and uh, what appears to be human feces on at least several surfaces. We're playing Meet Your Maker. Mic muted. Don't fuck with me, man. Don't fuck with me. I know it's not muted. The voice is so su yeah. See, you can't, you can't, you can't fool me. I'll show you what happens to people that try to fuck with me. You see this woman of um, foreign descent? Watch this. Watch what happens when I press the big button. She's gone. She's getting melted down and piped through this tubing, and it's going to feed this giant baby in a vat. And in fact, in fact, I got rewarded for it. What game is this? Why is the audio low? Ba 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 ba. What happened to the audio? What audio? My audio or the game audio? No, you're fucking with me again. This is Meet Your Maker. My mic is having issue. Oh no, is I'm just going to play the game. I can't trust you people. Um, all right. Anyway, here we are. Uh, this is a game where we basically go through a, a death maze and try to survive. So it's kind of an asymmetrical thing. You can build death mazes yourself um, to various degrees of success, or you could try to run other people's death mazes. So today, I'm not going to be building. That requires too much of my you know, attention span. Uh, I'm just going to be running through the maze. I'll be bringing my little friend with me, and uh, we're going to see what happens. Why do we have seven fucking outposts? <laughs> Why not, man? You have to, you have to, like, you have to build an outpost, and then realize it's terrible and shitty, and then you have to build an entirely new one, and realize it's terrible and shitty, and you're getting a little better every time, and eventually you have seven, and you're still pretty bad at the game, but that's okay. Um... All right, gentlemen, I think we should start maybe on dangerous difficulty. I, I don't think we need to start at brutal. You know, we'll save that for the end when I really want to edge myself. What's your little friend's name? The sidekick sometimes has the best story. Um, Well, you know what? I, I'll tell you what. I don't actually name the sidekick because there's a very good reason for it. I'm about to show you. I don't need this. Because if I name the sidekick, then I would feel bad when I inevitably, uh... God, where'd the little fucker run off to? I always kill him at the start of every raid. Oh, what does this even say? Oh, this is quite nice. Look at this. Look at this lovely, welcoming maze. So anyway, here we are. We've, we This is another player's maze. Our goal is to go in, steal their treasure, and escape without dying. Now, usually, that doesn't exactly work, but I'm a professional, so you can trust me. See this grappling hook? They don't just give this out to anyone. You have to be the highest level in the game to get this grappling hook. Okay, the, the issue with this maze is that I don't know how to enter it. That makes it perhaps the most dangerous maze of all. There's of course these blocks of acid. I'll, okay, it's down here. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to go through the blocks of acid. Okay, this is very good. Okay, you see, this is this is exactly what I'm talking about here. These things... Well, I'll just show you. Yeah, see, those things, you don't want to... You don't want to run into those things. Those are bad news. So, you know, luckily, we can destroy the traps. Or we can... We have a little shield barrier, and it gives us a bit of invulnerability. Now, this is just my personal loadout, because I, you know, I'm kind of a pussy. You don't have to use these. You can use uh, crossbows and grenade launchers, whatever really. Okay, we got a, a guard here. Just kill him, a couple of bombs, stick to the ceiling, no problem. Oh, this is my little friend I was telling you about earlier. Always kill him at the start of the game, that's the sign of a true alpha male. 
Now actually, once you kill him, you'll realize that you're lost, because he's the only person that knows the way through the maze. But, you know, we're not here to take it easy on ourselves. Okay. <laughs> that's clean. That is, I gotta say, that's some of my better work. Now you see, this, this maze we're in right now, this is like a medium difficulty maze. Um, it's really just obvious, like I'm not gonna fall for this. You guys are probably worried for a second there. You thought old Reggie was was dead. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. By the way, um, I really recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. Now let's take some drugs and try to go through this maze as quickly as possible. Speed run just for fun. Just ignore everything. It doesn't have to be a problem if you don't make it a problem. That's what I always say. Oh, what's happening, bro? Oh my god. Okay, let's just go on the ceiling. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Take more drugs. Oh, there's the stuff. Okay, we got the stuff. Now we have to get out. So everything we just did, but in reverse. Uh, I don't know. What? It, where? Maybe through here. Sorry. He, he, okay, we're back. That guy snuck up on me, right? He snuck up on me. He, uh, he, he deserved that, no? Reggie, you caused my gay awakening. Well, I, you know what? I get that comment a lot, actually. I got that comment so much that I thought that, that there was, like, bots. I had to start banning people for making that comment, but in fact, it was not bots. Okay. So evidently, some traps can spawn in after you take the treasure, and then they can really trick you. This game is Meet Your Maker. I will say this exactly three more times before... I have a mental breakdown. Is this an illusion? What, what? What's going on here? Is this a graphical glitch or is there something up with this wall? This game will give you an intense sense of paranoia. There's no other way to put it, really. Chat, um, the people in the, uh, people in the chat are asking what game this is. Can, can we just tell them it's, um, this is World of Warcraft Classic. This is the Season of Discovery. If anyone asks, just let them know. Alright, we're out of the maze. Fucking easy. Who cares? No, it's Fortnite. Oh, this is, this is kind of Fortnite. Okay, that was, well, that was a level 6 maze. Or a maze made by a level 6 named Cheese Dish. So, cheese dish if you're out there. Well done. Um, we're just going to be doing some random mazes. Probably increasing in difficulty. And then at the end, uh, I have a couple of mazes that were like submitted to me from people in the Meet Your Maker community. So, they should be either incredibly difficult or at least like marginally interesting and artistic. Reggie does not have mental breakdowns. Mental breakdowns have Reggie. Hmm. This is an interesting... Interesting turn, you know, turn of the tables, really. I like that idea. I'm gonna buy this game immediately. Dude, it's really good. And it's... You know, I don't want to sound like a pretentious asshole, but, like, not a lot of people play it. And I don't really understand why. I think it got some bad publicity for a, a while there. Ooh, this is cool. We're, like, going into a crab or something. Okay, our little friend kind of beat us to the punch. This acid I don't enjoy. Oh! Oh, yes, yeah, a flamethrower, of course. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to kill that. Reggie, are you going to make this vid? Possibly. Oh, no! Okay. Sometimes, yeah, you see this guy, he has armor. When they have armor, it's a lot, you know, the sword doesn't exactly work so well. And that's a big issue for me, because my only other weapon is a shield. So, we're going we're gonna to have to figure out a more creative way to kill this guy. But first, the fire. Then he shoots. Then, what if I hit you in the head? Ah, uh, that didn't work so well. Head? Okay. If I hit exactly in his forehead, I kill him. So we'll just have to be more accurate. Reggie, you complete me. You are the crack to my needle. Interesting. Interesting. Someone once told me... What's this? What's going on here? I'm getting... Whoa! I'm getting like these little red indicators on my screen to indicate that I am in trouble. 
Not as much trouble as that guy. Or him. People tend to die when you cause traumatic injury to their skull. Yeah, I mean, you don't even have to cut it off. You really just have to hit it, like, really, really hard. And usually they'll fold like a fucking lawn chair. Alright, let's see what we have here. There's something, and I swear to God, this is going to sound like the delusional ramblings of a schizophrenic. Some of these walls aren't real. Some There's a trap that looks like a normal wall, but it's fucking, it's, it's all illusory. And as soon as you get close to it, it disappears, and then you get shot uh, with a, like, a dark gun. It's really not fun. And these things aren't fun either. People have, this is kind of like the meta, people have realized you put these uh, blocks of acid, you make an entire room out of them, it induces a lot of panic, because that thing hits you, starts to melt your skin off. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> oh, okay, that was clever, that was clever. Um, he had a guard up here, so then when I come up to kill the guard, there was a spike trap waiting for me, but he wasn't accounting on me missing my grappling hook, so then the spike trap just killed the guard, and I am uh, perfectly safe. I say, as I'm surrounded by hydroiotic acid. We really don't like this. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. When all, when all else fails, literally just find a corner and put your shield up. There's like a 50% chance that nothing's going to target you, and then another 50% chance that your shield will stop whatever is targeting you. So this is what we're here for, is the gen mat. Reggie, you crank in your hog... No, I did that. I did the... I cranked the hog before stream. You always want to get that taken care of before the... What's wrong? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Flamethrower above me. I was like, something's targeting me. <laughs> you always want to get yourself, you know, clear your mind out before a stream. That's where everyone slips up. You guys saw that Vosh guy, right? He ran into some issues. If he had a... Well, actually, maybe his issue was that he was cranking his hog before the stream. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, um... Clear this out. Oh, yeah. It's not enough to kill me with one flamethrower, but he wants to do it twice. Very sweet. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, yes, we have a lovely death piston here. This thing hits you. Instant, instant kill. Okay, acid too. Reggie, you should play Pathologic 2 for a video. It's a grueling survival game based in the, uh... The gym sock pit that is Russia. <laughs> Great way to describe something. Um, I think I've seen this game. I don't know. It's not always obvious to me, like, that every game can be made into a video in my style. Um, not that my style is, like, you know, so unique or anything. It's just, I don't know. Some, some things work better than others. Like, the, um... God, I did a video recently... Uh, I don't like acid so much. I did a video recently on God of Weapons, and like that was quite challenging. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. No, I'm possibly the best at this game. Okay. Gmod Death Run looks like it's had a massive update. Man, I haven't played Yeri's Mod in so long. That's such a such a classic game. Such a good time. Oh, this game also goes on uh, co-op, by the way. It's uh, like substantially easier in co-op, but, um, you know, very enjoyable. You have to play with your friends more. Yeah, well, you know what? Um, it's kind of hard sometimes. Sometimes it's kind of hard to wrangle, like, four or five people. I, uh, I'll probably end up streaming with Cleeper at some point, though. He likes to stream pretty regularly, and there's a lot of advantage to streaming with another person. Your voice... You get a lot more mileage out of your voice. Oh, fuck, that acid nailed me in the face. I am not going to be looking so good after this. Okay, we're out of here. So we've extracted the gen mat, and um, that's another successful raid. Is Rar a real person, or is he in your imagination? Well, I'll just say this, man. Rar, Cleeper, and Troopin could all just be, like, one man who's exceptionally skilled at impressions. I've never met any of them, so it's entirely possible. There's, like, one man with three computers and a lot of dedication. 
So, I, I don't know. Like, Rar could be a cryptid. Troopin is definitely a cryptid, but... Time will tell. In case anyone's wondering about the lore of this game, um, really, like, truthfully, because I had to research this because I was, like, thinking about making a video on this, humanity was wiped out by a virus, and then we started this project to, like, evolve the next step And Could you please shut up, lady? Uh, we started this next step in human evolution, which is apparently this thing in the, the giant vat. And um, then, like, some kind of a government, uh, the government broke down, and so now there's, like, a bunch of, like, individual laboratories all running their own uh, evolutionary experiments. And the only way to evolve this giant vat baby is by feeding it genetic material. And no, of course, I'm not talking about cum. Well, actually, it's not really clear. The genetic material, we mine it from the ground. And it's not like fossil fuels. It's like human genetic material, which makes me think we're simply just like grave robbers. And then I feed it to these people, and it mutates their DNA, and then I feed them to this guy in an, you know, an attempt to uh, evolve him. I know that sounds like I'm making that up on the spot. It, I, that's entirely accurate. If you go to like the codex, it's all there. Will you play uh, Barrow Trauma again? Maybe on stream. Pot like, potentially on stream, but it's, you know what? I'm just, like, not good at the game, and it, sh it stresses me out. Um, so it's just not... Like, I can concede that it's a fun game for a lot of people. I just, like, I, I was never really... I never, like, got into it, you know what I mean? You gotta crank some hogs to make an off. <laughs> That's terribly cursed, my man. Uh... God. Um, okay, so this is... We have one more expedition, two, three, four. So four more expeditions, and then we've completed this... Or four more raids, and then we've completed this expedition. Well, you can harvest organs and scam children out of food and medicine in... For toys in Pathologic 2. It's basically like Stalker, but more accurate. Nice. That sounds like a good... You know, sounds like somewhere I would fit in. Oh, look at these fine young gentlemen coming to welcome me onto the map. Oh, I'll have to sneak up on them. They did. They, they were supposed to sneak up on me, but they didn't account for me. Oh my god, he's exploding! <laughs> they didn't account for me being really slow because I was interacting with chat. Where have you run off to? Sir. Excuse me. Just gonna go through this entire thing really... Really, really, really quickly. Woo! Uh, just got the gen mat. Everything's going flawless. Let's inject some drugs and get out. Whoa! Oh. Oh, God. Alright, well, uh, that went wrong just a little bit. You know, um, <clears throat> I started getting, I started getting clips of this guy that plays Tarkov, and I think he goes by the name of, uh, Juiceman Leprous. I don't know if you, anyone has seen his stuff, but he's absolutely hilarious. He, his entire goal is to simply just be as creepy as possible. And uh, it's very entertaining. I can respect it. Have you ever seen one man so effortlessly skate through life? <laughs> I didn't think so. I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of structure here for not a lot of maze, but anyway. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was good. I know it might not be like as visually um, interesting to just watch me inject drugs and then like fucking... Uh, you know, motion blur my way through a maze, but it's a lot of fun in the moment. And sometimes you'll run into a maze that has, like, a big death room, and there's just, like, 20 guards, and, like, it's just a giant square. And then that's when the Doom music really kicks in, and you just, you have a lot of fun. Did you build your own maze? Yeah, I did build my own maze. I, I built seven of my own mazes, perhaps. Um, I want to say, like, one or two of them are good. The fun thing, though, is that when you build your own maze, other people will raid it, and then you can watch the replays and be like, oh, this trap worked, and this one didn't, and so on and so forth. Secretly, this representation... This game is the representation of Reggie on a drug fuel high, stealing from office buildings. 
Well, look, man, the office buildings, they, if they don't want to be stolen from, they, they need to increase their security, and they need to stop carrying such valuables, like, like letter stock and uh, staplers. Okay, do you have any idea what those go for on the black market? The others are obsolete. Okay, I'm crafting more drugs. This is the number one thing you got to do in this game. Could you create mazes for your YouTube accomplices to attempt? Yes, you. I, I could. In fact, uh, the Spiffing Brit, I believe he did a sponsored video um, from the makers of this game, and that was the whole premise. Is he just made a very... Well, I'm not even sure how difficult the maze was. I just think it was... I think it was just a nightmare to navigate. And then he made, um, he made like, Hazor and some other people that I don't quite know. He made them go through the maze. How many drugs do you want? Well, I just made about 20. That, that might make me, you know, that might last me for one or two more uh, raids, possibly. You should drink the acid blocks so they won't burn or melt you. Oh, is that like, is the, this is like the same as like drinking the water so you can't drown? Reggie, can you buy me pot? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can. Okay, let's follow our little man here. Actually, no. Let's race him. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh it's right there. This is easy. <laughs> See, that was, that was the illusion block I was talking about. Okay, no, this is... I think this one's actually going to be easy. I, I'm not worried about this one. We gotta drug up now, so then we're, like, already on a high by the time we enter the room. You think you can stop me with your stupid fucking traps, dude? You have no idea who you're dealing with. <laughs> it's so... It's gotta be so frustrating to, like, carefully design this, like, masterful little maze, and then you just see some idiot fucking... You know, huffing uh, paint thinner in the parking lot, and then he just rushes through it with reckless abandon. You know, <laughs> that's terrible. Do you enjoy the little things in life? I I try to. Um, I often reflect on the fact that I'm lucky that I'm not, um, you know, being killed by a drone right now because there's a lot of people, you know, in Europe that are currently having that experience. You know, sometimes. I don't seek this stuff out, but sometimes it, it does make its way to me, like like videos from the Ukraine war, um, and it's like really high quality footage of like people my age just getting blown up by hand grenades, and it's like, wow, some of them even look like me. Um, so yeah, I mean, to answer your question, do I enjoy the little things in life? Yeah. Yeah, I try to. And you, get, you know, you have to be grateful for um, not just the things you have, but the things that you don't have, or the things that you aren't subjected to. What tomfoolery is this? This is Fortnite? This is Fortnite Season 6? I'm going to do a build challenge? I can also play as other characters. Their one unifying feature is that... I'm pretty sure this is the guy from the Skibbity Toilet, but their one unifying feature is that they don't know how to have normal heads. Reggie, have you considered playing Helldivers? I have a friend that's really trying to get me to play Helldivers, but he's Polish, so I don't necessarily trust his, like, intentions. I'm gonna have to, like, vet him a little further. Um, when's the next vid dropping? March 5th. I can tell you that confidently, because I'm contractually obligated to upload it by March 5th. Um, Ham Destroyer is the dollar store... Oh, I, I don't know about that, man. I, I think, um... I think Ham Destroyer, I, like, I understand some similarity there, but I've seen, I've seen far more egregious, um, examples of someone, you know, like, copying me. I, I'm not even saying that Ham Destroyer is, like, I, I like, I like his content. Do I see the similarity? Yes, but I, I, I don't think that, I don't think that guy's doing anything wrong, you know, necessarily. And you know what, this, the whole, the whole thing with, like, uh, people copying other people on YouTube, like, I get that comment, I, I must get that comment the most out of anyone, and it's, it's, a, unless someone is, like, like, verbatim copying another person, like, literally word for word, um, 
I don't know. It's not like a, a compelling comment uh, to me. All right, let's just go around here. Shit. <clears throat> How do you feel after making Kroll become the god of the depth? I feel good. And then people immediately pointed out that Kroll is a female and I misgendered her the entire time and I felt, felt bad. Felt bad about that. Okay, so all of, all of these things have armor. And it's really not going well for me. I don't know if you guys probably saw me bounce my sword off of them like uh, three times in a row there. Okay, let's let's think about this. I'm gonna put down a phoenix pod. This lets me respawn. Dead naming crawl. What if I got cancelled for that? What if I made like mainstream media? Ah, oh. what if mainstream media picked up on me? <laughs> misgendering troll and then I got cancelled. Dude, where am I even supposed to go here? <laughs> What's the... I, it's just a box, man. What am I supposed to do? Okay, wait, no. I don't even know if there's an exit here. I don't need to fight these people. Is it over here? Oh, it's down here. Easy. I will just avoid all of my enemies. Kill this. Look at this. You guys see this? I'm not having a moment right now. I'm not having a psychotic break. That's not real. It's shifting. I tried to warn you, man. Is this stream being simulcast? No. Reggie getting skill issued by a cube. I'll show you skill issue. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. Keep watching. I hope you're watching. That's not real. That's not real. This isn't real. None of it's real. Now I have the... I have the juice. It's in my inventory. That's real. Oh, God. Oh, God, God, God. Oh. Oh, away, 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 away. Okay. All right. No, it's... This is actually what I was planning the whole time. Use our invincibility. Whew. Yeah, how about that? How, how's that for a, <clears throat> uh, for a skill issue? <laughs> for a skill issue. All of this for a cup of cranberry juice. Man, I'm terribly parched. You have to understand. I'm going to saturate my throat with liquid now. Let's, let's, let's see. Never mind, my glass is empty. Terrible. Dreadful preparation, Reggie. Worst streamer. Ban this man from YouTube. Hey, Reggie, I'm watching this completely nude. Oh, I'm doing this completely nude. I can't do a face cam, but I could do, I could do a foot cam. Would that be good? Okay, we're on to this next map. There's a giant tower over here. I don't know the nature of this. I'm pretty sure it's not functional in any way. And now we're going to go into this yellow building full of acid. It's opaque acid. Oh, it's an entire hallway full of opaque acid. Well, on the upside, it's not dripping, so I'll just... <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to show you guys what this is supposed to do. These are pushing traps. He wants... And they're they're hidden. They're, you can see it's kind of phasing through the floor there. I'll take one for the team. Watch this. Put down a respawn. Oh, look at me. Just lottie dying my way through the... Now I'm in the ceiling. Now I'm dead. Now I'm respawning at my, uh, my pod. Yeah, so he's got a couple of these bad boys. The, okay, I get like doing two in a row, but the entire hallway, my dude, that's a bit, it's a bit much. Whoa, buddy. Oh, uh, there's more, there's more. <laughs> I'm going faster than they can, okay, easy, easy. Not a problem. 
Can I be your friend, Reggie? I'm honestly, I'm not a very good friend. It's very difficult to be my friend. Like, a lot of times people will message me and I I just forget to reply for days at a time. And and then it, it becomes, like, it's more awkward to reply the longer time goes on. So some people I just never talk to again because I'm like, oh, God, I don't know how to approach this situation. Have you guys heard of the Grunge, Reggie's Totally Cool server? I've heard of it, and I, I, I've heard that it's entirely populated by femboys and homosexuals. I know that because I'm one of them. <laughs> Do you even reply to your friends? Okay, so now, guys, we're on to the... These are brutal expeditions. They're, they are substantially harder than the other ones, more difficult. Um... Usually I can defeat them. Sometimes it takes me about a dozen tries, though. I find it's a lot of effort to talk to some people nowadays. You're goddamn right, man. Goddamn right. Why would I talk to people when I could just stay at home ingesting uh, amphetamines and you know, luxuriating in my own filth, watching countless hours of YouTube. It's just... It's, it's, it's a matter of convenience. Like, let's see how convenient it is for me to go through this maze without checking any corners. So far, so good. Those walls aren't real, doesn't matter. Just going through here, grappling hook, grappling hook, grappling hook. Didn't even see that guy, there's the thing. Please don't hit me. Okay, we're... Whoa! Okay, that guy showed up out of nowhere. But that's fine. You know, for a brutal maze, this one isn't too bad. Whoa, don't like that. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw something at the end of the hall, so then I panicked and I ran right into this piston. Okay, anyway. For the most part, this one doesn't look so bad. I can work with this. Oh, God. Oh, it's Crow. Look at that. Crow's in the chat. She does really good art. Uh, thumbnail art specifically, but I'm sure her other stuff is good. Look at this. So this is an illusory wall with... This thing wants to pull me in and then... <laughs> okay. I just... I just turned on my... Okay, so this pulls me in, and then that was a pushing thing that pushes me to this, which was supposed to push me into the acid. That's really cute. That's like a four-stage way to get me in the acid. <laughs> uh. Alright. I'm gonna go through a little slower this time. This guy's very fond of... Yeah, see, this wants to pull me in, and this is going to try to push me. It's cute. It, it's a cute little trap. It's like a terribly cost, ineffective trap, but it's cute. Okay. You can test if walls are fake or real by hitting them with a grappling hook. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore him. Now we're going to go through fast. I mean, we got through totally fine last time. It's just this hallway freaked me out. But it's not going to do that this time. Okay. Fire. I'm going to have to try to get the piston without the fire. Okay, easy. And then we just get out of here. Jesus Christ. Do you think that's a little bit much, my guy? <laughs> a little bit of overkill. Grapple hook is che grapple hook is cheating? Are you serious? It it feels like cheating, doesn't it? Because I'm just like teleporting through the fucking maze. Do you have a Discord server? No, there is no Discord server. Anyone that tells you otherwise is propagating a horrible lie, and I wouldn't trust any link they send you. It's probably an IP grabber, and they'll show up at your residence to gather your organs. What's your opinion on dry water? Do you mean, like, steam? No, that's not quite right. Do you mean, like, ice? 
Like snow, perhaps. What's your opinion on drywall? Drywall is... It's not bad. You know what I mean? And I like the... You can beat up on it. And I like the risk. You know, it's like a modern man's Russian roulette. When you punch the wall, if you're going to hit the stud or not, and destroy your entire arm. Uh, it's... It adds a certain element of risk. You know, because without, without risk, you know, the reward doesn't feel as good. What's my opinion on dry ball? Hmm. I haven't run into that issue. I know a man that twisted his balls accidentally several times. He said it was quite painful. And I said, well, that's what you get. Don't, you know, don't um, fuck with me. And I, I won't have to twist your balls. But uh, yeah, that's uh, what's happening right now. Oh, bombs. Was it Big Al? Oh, man. Big Al, I'll tell you, look, last time I told a story about Big Al taking, uh, eating grass, like, like, uh, uh, grazing on wild grass and then taking giant grass shits, and, um, they're very gnarly, but he, what did he also do? Oh, yes, he used to piss himself, and, and, uh, then he would dry himself off on a, a heater in my office space, and it would just fill the room with, like, nebulized piss, it was terrible, uh, but I'll tell you another Big Al story while I'm here. You know, maybe this can be like a one per stream thing. Um, one time, Big Al was a notorious alcoholic. Okay, and... Um, well, let me, let me think. I've got a couple of options. What, what, what should I go with? It's that one. Well, I'll just go with the easiest one. I'll go <laughs> Big Al alcoholic. I like that. <laughs> Okay, so Big Al was always getting in trouble downtown because there were like several government offices and um, he would kind of like pester the government employees and then the government, like they were called commissionaires. They were basically just like fancy security guards. They would have to put the run on Big Al. They'd be like, hey, get out of here, you, you smelly uh, piss gremlin. And uh, so eventually they, like, uh, I guess they had a big fight or something. And so Big Al, he scurried away, but he was he was fuming. He was angry on the inside. And he plotted his revenge, and he he decided, you know, as an act of uh, retribution, that he would sneak into the security office in the in the office building, and he would find the security guard's like office chair, at which he did this. He managed to do this successfully as like a filthy homeless man that was notorious for causing trouble. He managed to infiltrate a government office and get in the security room, and then he sat down in the security guard's chair, um, and it was one of those like. It wasn't like a leather chair. It was one of those like like fabricy chairs, um, and he just started pissing in it through his own clothing, mind you. He just he just sat in the chair and then just like power pissed and soaked himself in the chair, <laughs> and, and then um, that was pretty much it. I'm pretty sure he just did that and left. And the uh, security guard, I think, like passed him in the hallway and put the run on him. And he was like, "Oh man, that that guy's weird. He's pissing himself." And then he he found his chair and. Anyway, it's great. Reggie piss lore. Yeah, a lot of piss lore out here. They call me the piss lord. Hello. Hello. Hello? No? Okay. See, the thing is, it sounds super fake, but this is the second time he's told a story about him, so... No, this is entirely true, I swear to God. Uh, you can ask anybody from my hometown that I won't tell you what it is. Big Al, <laughs> Big Al is real. I mean, he's probably dead by now, but he he was he was a menace. He he prowled the streets many a time. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember one time I had a conversation with him, and I'm trying to remember because he said something fucking hilarious. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, it was something to the effect of. I was I was walking in the office building and Big Al was sitting on the radiator like nebulizing his piss as he often did, and you know I have this thing where like yeah he's a he's and he's an insane homeless drug addict probably but he's still a human being so like I treat him with some level of of decency so I was passing him in the in the office space and I said I just looked at him I was like hey Big Al how you doing and he looked at me 
didn't respond to my question, of course. And he was he he just said in like the most drunk voice you could imagine. He said, "People tell me I got a drinking problem, but I got no problem drinking at all." And then I just laughed and walked away. So, what do you mean by nebulizing? Well, really, I mean vaporizing. He was he was steaming his piss. Now, like a nebulizer is when you take a liquid and then you disperse it into a fine particulate, so it's like a mist. But I guess, like technically speaking, he was vaporizing his piss. Anyway, that's enough Big Al lore for today. Let's uh, meet my maker. Oh, little man. Little man with a big bomb. Wafting in fine piss particles. Mmm, yes. <laughs> I was just thinking about how that, uh, that guy, the pirate software guy, when he streams... He tells, like, interesting stories on his stuff, and then he makes them into YouTube shorts. And I'm like, the only thing I can make into a YouTube short out of any of my streams is just me talking about Big Al pissing himself. It's oh, God, I didn't think it would reach me from there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Alright. Let's get this. Put on our shield. Okay, that room is... That room is a lot. That room is gonna require some nuance. I'm gonna take that room a little slower. So wait, Reggie is uh, a New Yorker too? I can't tell accents from each state. No. I'm from Boston. I'm from Baltimore. I met a guy from Baltimore once. It's like single-handedly the least likable person I've ever encountered in my entire existence. Like, within 30 seconds of me interacting with him, I was like, holy fuck, I can't wait until I'm not talking to you anymore. That was... it was bizarre. It was, like, kind of impressive that someone can have such a, a visceral effect on you within such a short period of time, but he managed to do it. Reggie, are you going to play Helldivers 2 with uh, Kleeper? Uh, I don't know, does he have Helldivers 2? I just... I haven't been paying, like, really any attention to Helldivers. Um, presumably it's a pretty fun game. Okay, so the issue with this room is that it's hard to get in there because there's these two dickheads. I'm gonna put a respawn down. I think what I have to do, it's full of traps. I gotta try to disarm some of the traps. Trigger them, at least. Alright, that was probably the worst outcome. Where am I? What... Okay, put another one of these down. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here, try to trigger some traps. Oh, man, this one's tough. Alright, I'm just gonna use a different loadout. I mean, this is actually really easy if I just change my loadout. Um, I'll use a demolition cannon? No, maybe a... Maybe one of these? Yeah, this will work. Reggie, have you added mods yet to this game? I didn't think there are mods in this game. Which is to say no. I'm definitely going to die because I think I still have the shield and I do not still have the shield. Okay, this is good. Goes there. Vote, vote, vote. Vote on what? Oh, vote on the loadout? Okay, we can do the, the loadout vote um, next. <laughs> this is literally just one guy asking me to vote, but he's doing it with the enthusiasm of like 10 people. We can do a vote um, for the next raid. I, I think I'm just about ready to beat this raid, to be honest. Okay. Got one of my grappling hooks over there. You guys got armor on? Not enough. You have not enough armor on. To stop me from doing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Flamethrower finished them off, and now I can respawn at the Phoenix pod. Lovely. Oh man, I didn't get my any of my bolts back. I'm out of ammo. One of them's over there. Just do these manually the old the old fashioned way. 
Oh, damn. Those those ones have heat seat. You can modify the traps. Normally, these things just uh, they shoot straight, but he, uh, he made them like kind of heat seeking. Kind of tricky. Whoa, whoa. Like that. Okay. This crossbow is pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and we are out. Twenty thousand W's. Shout out to my boys in Pyongyang. Yes. Thank you for the donation. I had someone. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a great example of the fact that you can't you can't make a joke about anything. Um, or you can't even talk about anything without someone being upset online. I was playing Civilization uh, 6, and I modded in um, North Korea as a playable faction. And then I started killing them and making jokes about, like, oh, they're starving and, like, North Korean missile programs and stuff. And there was actually someone in the comment the, the comment section legitimately angry. I, I don't know if they were, like, a North Korean or something, but they were legitimately angry. They were like, how dare you insult North Korea, like, like after all the things South Korea has done and, like... I know that the way I'm explaining it makes it sound like it's, um, like, ironic or something, but it, I, I think it was real. <laughs> Kim's alt account, they have possibly. Okay, we have four more mazes to go, and I'll try some of the community-made mazes. You know, maybe some, some cool ones. Does it say... Oh, I thought that's a cum. It might. We have to investigate immediately. Reggie hides his face to conceal the fact that he's actually four foot two, three hundred pound Guatemalan rancher. That's that's ridiculous. I'm definitely not a four foot two Guatemalan rancher. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get to the bottom of this. It does that. It's that's like a W and an M or something. I don't know. Maybe I just have like confirmation bias. Okay, what should we vote on? I we can do like um, I'll let you guys pick. Maybe a weapon. One of these, perhaps, or I think that's really the only thing to vote on. All right, let's. I will. I will create the the vote. Engage with your audience. Start a poll. What weapon? Uh, Lancer. Plasma. Cannon. Or. No. Grapple. I'm leaving it to you to decide my fate. And voting has begun. And I'm going to stop it as soon as I get an answer that I like. Until then, the voting remains open. Come on, cannon! If we just if we just uh, triple the amount of people voting for cannon, we can we can get the cannon. Here's some actual currency. Someone donated two pounds or euros. I don't. This is the most American moment. Thank you, thank you for your donation. All right. Well, I tell you what. Why don't we do no grapple and I use the cannon? And that way, at least, like, 70% of the audience can win. Actually, it'd be 80%. Okay. I think that works for me. <clears throat> what the fuck is a kilometer? It's a good question, man. It's a good question. <clears> okay. <throat> oh, yeah. 
We're gonna use the cannon, and we're also gonna use the sword, and uh, let's raid this thing. This is this is a warehouse. It's a warehouse for genetic material, and we're gonna take it all. My 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 thirst is it's unquenchable. Absolutely. Oh wait, I'm using the grappling hook again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, I I deserve this. Slam me. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like second nature. It's like you know, it's like an opposable thumb. I can't not use it. Opinion on spleen injuries. Well, the thing about a spleen injury, and, and, and you know, not a lot of people will tell you this, but how am I going to get those guys up there without a grappling <laughs> Oh, shit. This isn't good. Yeah, spleen injuries are fine. I'd put them in, like, a top ten injuries of all time. Okay. I really don't like the flying guys. Okay, there. The, the ledge, that the ledge is, that's my savior. That's how I kill the flying guys. Without a grappling hook. Oh god, I'm just so I'm just so slow and I'm out of ammo. Um, please, bro. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Come on. I can't get behind him without my grappling hook. There we go. Rip and tear it until it is done. That's that's my motto before I start cranking the hog. Okay, I'm at least allowed to jump still, so I'm not totally like impotent. Okay, I've got my canisters back. Monsters up there, which I can't get. Oh man, I can't. I can't get my thing if I can't get up here without the grappling hook. Oh yes, I can. Awesome. Simply amazing. For every time he uses the grappling hook, it's one kidney stone. You know what? I actually, I, I spoke to a a woman once that had um she had a kidney stone and she had passed it and she told me that passing a kidney stone was a more excruciating pain than giving birth and that was like really frightening for me to hear because guys when they have to pass kidney stones it's actually a lot worse than women because you know we got this massive three inch hog that we have to push it through in addition to all of the other tubing okay don't like that fuck Three inches. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was. Was I not being believable enough? I, I, I knew I should have gone for the. Fuck. I, I overdid it. Gargantuan. <laughs> the entire chat's just exploding. And. In, in, uh, oh, man. This is getting challenging. If I can get this canister, I shoot this one. Dude's out here bragging on <laughs> stream. <That's dream. laughs> Well, okay. What's let's let's do a poll. Let's do like some let's do some democracy here, guys. What do we think? Um, what is the average dong size in chat? And this is going to be in inches. One, two, three, four. No, no. We'll go for like one and uh, another end of the spectrum, like seven. And, and five. I want to hear, and I want to hear honest answers. Whatever your number is closest to, you pick it. The average dong size in chat. One is average. That's what my girlfriend told me. She was like, Reggie, you know, you're really, you're quite about, you're three times the average. It made me feel like a real man, you know? She didn't, she didn't have to step on my balls with a, Fucking cannonball, you know, to, to get me going that night. It looks like... Okay, wow, okay. It's a bimodal distribution. It's one, and it's also five, but it's also kind of seven. But it's definitely not two. Seven is Mandingo status? <laughs> uh, okay, this was perhaps the most uh, valuable use of my time, gathering that information. There you have it, 122 votes. That counts as research, that counts as science. Alright, what was I doing here? Oh, yes. Getting toasted by these flamethrowers. Okay, very good. No grappling hook is, is really quite easy. When you think about it, 
In everyday life, I think the average American relies too much on their grappling hook, and this is a real return to... Oh, return to form. I totally just hit air there. Oh, shit. Alright. Now go sell the data to the government. Yes, I will. You know what I was thinking about the other day? I was thinking about, um... What if you, like, you had a dating app, right? Um, and, like, some dating apps, people will put, like, their height, and, and you have no way of verifying that, right? So, like, a girl doesn't know. You say, oh, I'm six foot four, but really you could be five foot three. They don't really know. Um, but, like, what if I had an app, and this could be a big thing, I had an app that you could post how big your, you know, your hog was, but then also I would personally go to you and validate the length and width and girth and yaw of your, you know, your junk. And then the female users could use the app and they would feel, like, assured that they're not being catfished, right? Because I'm, I'm physically, you know? Does this seem, I, look, if this was Shark Tank, how many of you, <laughs> how many of you are, are in on my idea? You know, 7% for 300,000. Who's, who's in? Flaccid or not? Oh, I do both. What do you mean? As if I'm not, as if I'm not a thorough, thorough professional. Oh my god, that that one actually scared me. I didn't anticipate that. I'm in. Slap an approved by Reginald sticker on it. Oh, that was a grappling hook. Oh, I'll just kill myself. Yep. Maybe I could just pay you to come check it out. Sure, why not? You got my investment. What about girth? Oh yeah, I'm dude. I'm doing everything. I'm doing length, girth, um, circumference, uh, yaw. Pitch, angle of elevation, minute of uh, accuracy, I'm doing everything. Wait, yeah, I'll do a water displacement test in my mouth. Wait, wait what? In, in a bathtub, I meant to say. I hate when I, I misspeak like that, it's awkward. Oh, man. There's a, there's a funny um, thing, I think I think Mark Norman said it on a podcast, he was like, it's not, it's not, there's nothing gay about sucking someone off. There's, it's, it's gay when you want to do it, but it's not gay to actually do it, you know what I mean? Oh, holy shit, dude, whoa, guys, you don't have to donate so much money, wow. Here's my investment to start, oh no, shit, now I'm, I'm legally bound to start this, uh, this idea where I verify <laughs> cock size. Thank you guys. Um, your videos inspired me to play Kenshi. Uh, now my world is in danger of my three inch dong. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. Here's my investment to start. Sounds similar to my experience in Catholic school. Thank you so much, guys. <clears throat> Bro chat just fucking popped off. Yeah, you start talking about measuring like men's uh, dicks with your mouth and you know, chat just goes wild for it. All these Twitch streamers. They Imagine if Pokemon did that. <laughs> Oh, it's the new meta. It's the new meta. <laughs> Dude, just please die. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, oh boy. That was, that was bullshit. Oh, no, he got me from over there. Atomic weight? Yeah, I'll, 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 uh, I'll check the, um... I'll check the wavelengths of their dick. I'll check the uh, the molecular formula, the empiric formula. You know, I'll get it all. You'll have a very comprehensive like dossier on what you're going up against before you meet your guy uh, for that date. You know what I mean? Check the flavor. Okay, come on now. I'm not. Let's not be ridiculous. What? I oh, I could have swore I killed you, my man. This room, this room is actually pretty difficult because it's a lot of enemies that I'm not exactly prepared to deal with. You, I have to shoot you in the head. There we go. You're not that bad. Just have to, oh crap. Yeah, just one of those. Now we have to go collect our canisters. We got one here, one over there, and one there. Lovely. What game is this? This is Meet Your Maker. Um, all right. I'm gonna put down a phoenix pod so I can respawn this time. Oh, I didn't like that. The real, like, loss of the grappling hook is that when a bomb lands near me, I can't really do anything about it. It's quite challenging. 
Oh, Watts, how much money do you get from these donos? That's a good question. And it's actually, well, first of all, thank you for the donation. And then I'm going to make you regret donating because I think YouTube takes a pretty big cut. I think their cut is as much as 30%. You just, like, they can't have enough money. You're literally Google. I have, I, I, I watch, I watch the stock market sometimes. Google's doing absolutely fine. They don't need my, like, 12 euros, okay? Bro, why are you complaining about Google taking your money when you have the hogwash business? Oh, yeah, it's true. I mean, I'm going to be a billionaire. So Google, I'll be taking Google's money. <laughs> Once I get this hogwash up and running, you know, they'll be coming to me. They'll be saying, oh, Reggie, please give us, give us, give us 3%. We'll give you anything. We'll give you your money back from all those donations. And I will laugh. Whoa, bro, slid down the slide with a suicide vest on. This is also just a stream of me, like, saying all the words I shouldn't be saying if I want this VOD to be monetized. But here we are. I think we're, like, I think we're too far past that at this point. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? This is a new guy, I think. All right, if you come around this corner, I'm going to chop your head off. I've warned you. I'm very powerful. Snuck up on me, little man. My canister's back, at least most of them. See, how do I get something that's on the ceiling if I can't grappling hook onto it? Not good. Would you rather sound like Jaja Binks or look like Jaja Binks? You're not allowed to kill. <laughs> Damn. Um, sound like him or look like him. Sound like him or look like him. There's got to be one girl that wants to have sex with Jar Jar Binks. I'd probably... I'd probably look like him, and then also learn how to do the accent. You've already made more money than your last video, my guy. It don't matter. Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Me <laughs> some measure your dick, sir. That's great. Okay, I just gotta go get that one on the left, and then I'm fine. Easy. No! What happened? Oh, invisible floor! Real, real nice. Real nice, guy. Who the hell are you? Were you here this whole time? Reggie, give us foot cam. No, you see, guys, this is what you don't understand. Foot cam is something that you have to earn. Okay? You have to earn it. If I just go around giving everyone foot cam, then what does it really mean? Okay? I'll put this down. I'm out here. I'm out here doing a game that is 90% a grappling hook game without a grappling hook. You guys can you guys can earn the foot cam. See that jump? See that jump where I almost ran into the crossbow bolt? Doesn't matter though. Uh, I'm really like not confident in my ability to close this distance. Oh, I'm just gonna keep running, maybe. Okay, we've got most of the traps disarmed. There's a nasty little man over there. And I'm out of canisters to shoot him with. That's okay, I'll sneak up on him. Okay, very good. This game makes me feel terribly powerful in a way that, like, not many things do. Grappling hook, a grappling hook in exchange for foot cam. You're trying to, you're trying to hold my grappling hook hostage? You've distracted me, and it resulted in my death. Damn it. <laughs> this is brutal. I'm all out of Phoenix pods. 
Reggie's double amputee. Yeah, I'm, I'm very shy about it. Hmm. Okay, I'll just kill this thing. Gotta say, the cannon's pretty good for clearing out hallways. There's definitely bombs up here. You can't tell me there's not bombs up here. Uh oh. Why did I do that? Now I can't get it. Oh, wait, yes, I can. I have a feeling like this stream is just going to devolve into, like, you guys taking more and more away from me until it's just, like, me playing the game without grappling hook, without any weapons, and I'm only allowed to use my feet for controls. Okay, see, I see someone in the, in the chat talking about the Grunge. The Grunge is a terrorist organization. I've never been affiliated with the Grunge. All of the fo all of the screenshots are photoshopped, and I just want to like say that publicly on the record, okay? And this has been known, this has been proven, this has been debunked many times. Let Donos choose your control. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a fun stream to do. Um, it's difficult to get chat integration with um, with YouTube. There's like it's it's difficult to get chat integration with Twitch for a lot of games, but there's some infrastructure because Twitch has like such a long you know long running uh, reputation with streaming. But YouTube is like it's kind of new on the block. No one's really cracked that code yet. I asked Martin Cito Pants, I was like, hey man, how did you do that thing with My Summer Car where like YouTube was controlling the the stream? And you know what he told me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone just mentioned this in chat. He told me that, he told me that he used uh, chat GPT to write the code. And I was like, are you serious? You have like you have like a million and a half viewers and you just like you let it ride on chat GPT writing the code for you? It was kind of hilarious, but, I mean, it worked. I think he ran into some technical issues, but he got it done. Let me... I, I want to I wanna ask you guys this question. I want to ask you this question. Do you, do you guys think that if you were in a fight to the death and you were just using your bare hands to to defend yourself against a coyote, do you think that you could defeat it? I think a coyote's probably like you know they're they're, they're not like they're bigger than a fox, I think, but they're not nearly as big as a wolf. It seems as though most people believe they could. I I think that the real thing for me is that like you have to get comfortable with the idea that you're going to get bit a few times, and if that thing gets up to your neck, like, you're in trouble, but I believe that they're only, like, 20 pounds, so I'm imagining myself, like, picking it up and swinging it against, you know, like, swinging it through the air and, like, slamming it off a tree or something. I think I could do it. You draw the line at three wolves? There's no way. You're not killing three. Well, you're not even killing one wolf. I don't believe you. This guy thinks he's Liam Neeson. Absolutely, I could beat Joe Rogan in a fight. A coyote is nothing. Dude, Joe Rogan is responsible for, like, a global steroid shortage. I don't think... I don't think you realize that. Okay, it looks like the chat's pretty confident that they could defeat a coyote in a fight to the death. Does the coyote have eye frames? Yeah, let's start... Okay, let's... Let, let, let's... Let, let's modify this. Um, the coyote... So it's a coyote, but um, he can. What 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 can he do? I'm gonna like upgrade him in some way. So let me think. Um, he can launch. He can launch uh, like miniature cannonballs at you. So it's, it's it's a coyote, but he can launch miniature cannonballs at you. He can just like project them from his eyeballs. He can he can do it like one one per minute. It's a, it's the size of a grape, but if it hits you, it's going right through you. It's like a bullet. So he, you you basically you have to dodge a cannonball once a minute, and and try to kill him as quickly as possible. 
He has vibrators for teeth. His piss is toxic. Oh yeah, what what about that? What if what if the coyote? Okay, so it's a coyote, but he's constantly pissing, and his piss is ass. It's acidic, and but he's immune to it, of course. But you are uh, not, presumably. But I think that changes things, because then you get to, you, know, you got to get your hands on that. It's gonna be rough. What if the coyote is really charismatic? Well, then like, maybe you, you start kissing him. I don't know. Depends how you feel about that thing. Okay, I'm going to go to grab the gen mat after a very sexually confusing raid. Some new traps have spawned. There's also appears to be an exit that way, possibly. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna close the poll. It seems that the most four out of five people think that they could kill a coyote. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be honest. Some of you aren't going to be able to take the coyote. I don't. I don't know what percentage, but just like physically, I'm sure some of you would lose. Um, just as a matter of like statistics, right? Yeah, this maze was long, but I think I just spent a lot of time like meandering. Also, you better believe as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to start using the grappling hook again. This has been like a really dreadful experience. I think we're safe, he says tentatively. As he wanders into almost certain death. Have you guys ever tried... This is, a, this is a food. Have you guys ever tried garlic fingers? I just realized that the, I think that this is a regional thing. And that not all places have these. Garlic fingers. Okay, I'm getting a couple of big old yeses. They're awesome. Okay. Yes, yes, garlic fingers with possibly some doner sauce. Yes, yeah, very nice. What? Okay. A fucking what? A, a garlic finger. It's like... You, you can imagine like a, a pizza... But there's no pizza sauce, it's just like cheese and like a garlic butter um, and like some little spices and they're like, they're cut in, in like a finger shape. Not Well, not like literally a finger, they're cut in like long rectangles and you dip them in donaire sauce. And if you don't know what donaire sauce is, that's a, that's a whole other problem. You're going to have to solve that in your spare time, but it's... No, it's not garlic bread. It's the, the thinness of it is like, it's like an eighth of an inch thick. It's like quite thin, maybe like a quarter of an inch thick. So it's not quite garlic bread. That's garlic. No, it's not garlic. Bread. It's it's not garlic bread because it's like a pizza dough. You know what I mean? Like garlic bread is a bread. Garlic pizza, kind of. Okay, how many more we got? Alright, um, we have three more raids to go, and I'm going to use the grappling hook now. And you're all just going to have to sit there on the cuck stool and deal with it. Do a poll if it's garlic. It's not garlic bread, I'm not doing a poll. <laughs> now we know Reggie has garlic breath. I've just been outed by myself. Okay, going back to this. Um, actually, why don't we use... Let's use no weapons at all. Let's use both defensive weapons. Grappling hook. Yes, and actually I'll increase my grappling speed. And, uh... Yeah. It'll be great. Increase my movement speed by 10% as well. Alright, this, this is a big one. Oh, look at this. All this structure. See what we can do here. Now that we're back on the grappling hook grind, uh, with 20% more speed, we can clear these mazes very effectively. No, we definitely don't have to go there. Wait, how did I get up here? What am I doing? That's not a real floor. Watch, it's not real.
Hey. Hmm. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I should probably leave this place. I know it's a long time ago, but I really wanted to ask this. If the Italian men caught you, what would they do when they are done? Call for more Italians or just walk away and never stop? Oh, well, in that hypothetical, they would just keep going until you were dead. Like, whether that is, like, that you, you would die from some kind of bodily trauma or, like, you would literally starve to death, I'm not sure. But they, they, they keep going. They got, that, they got that Italian vigor, you know what I mean? They're not stopping for nothing. Which is a, uh, that's a troubling realization, right? Because usually you're like, oh, I just gotta hang in here for like 12 minutes and then I'm good. Oh, wow, so this maze it appears to have three entrances and I, I was too neglectful. I didn't realize which one the little man went in. I'm gonna go for this one. Hmm, is this a warning? Perhaps. Watch this. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can make a little shield wall with this thing and then uh, balance the shields back at them. Hmm. This might be a dead end also. Yeah, this is nothing. Pretty sure this is nothing. Wait, no. This is... Down here, maybe. Okay. Jeez, I really didn't think this one through. Um, since I only have defensive weapons, I don't actually really have a method for, for killing this. That's not good. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to try to time it. Oh wait, no bombs, bombs, bombs. I think the bombs destroyed it. Are you navigating a gimp maze? Yeah, and if I if I die more than seven times, they get to they get to uh, take my ass. That's how the, the that's the rules of Meet Your Maker. Reggie, cool fact, my great aunt was beheaded. Well, I'm gonna need more information on that, please, and thank you. Why was your great aunt beheaded? What's happening? Whoa. Get out of my way. Absolute moron. Some person on the internet, why do you want to breathe oxygen? We all have physiological needs. Sometimes I just pick a random... Oh. Sometimes I just pick a random comment to read, and then I'm like, man, that was... I picked a really weird one. I'm not sure how to interact with that, so I just <laughs> resort to playing the games more. Okay, no, I came through this way. Dude, can you people just build mazes in, like, straight lines for once in your goddamn life? Like, it's hard to navigate. Okay, that thing got me twice now. I'm starting to feel kind of foolish. And then I, I got lost again. Yep, not, that, perfect. Everything's going according to plan, Reggie. Just keep keep at it, big guy. I think I found an editor, um, so that's kind of exciting. That's about... Dude, what? I, I, it's it, Well, the issue is that it's targeting me from all directions. I gotta use my uh, defensive item. Reggie, what do you think about the recent prices of narcotics? Ah, narcotics. Yes. I enjoy... Um, let me let me think about that. Prices of narcotics. I'm a supporter of the uh, free market. You know, I think if people want to charge exorbitant amounts of money for items, go ahead. I just, I, you know, I'll try not to buy them. Um, and then, you know, you won't make your money. So, yeah, expensive drugs, sure. Reggie, how much for a foot cam? Um, would, uh, wow, should I start, like, a fundraiser? I oh, God! You're, okay, this, this, this whole thing with only defensive items? 
bit of an issue. I'm realizing the folly of my way. Love your content, Reggie. You bring a breath of fresh air on this old, dusty platform. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. This is very nice of you to say. It's, um... You know... That's the... God. Oh, why? Three? <laughs> really? Really, guy? Um, I think that's, the, like, the biggest thing that, like, a, a creator can strive for is, is to have a sense of, like, I'm actually contributing something new. Um, and I'm not... I don't think I'm there yet 100%. Like, I don't think I've done anything particularly novel, but, you know, I really appreciate your comment. It means a lot. Okay, so he's got these guys to set up the... To, Come in from behind. Oh, what's wrong? You guys don't want to get me over here? Okay, one more. You think you're going to be the guy, do you? You think you're the one? You're not. Uh-oh. There we go. Bust. Someone in the, in the chat just said, Bust in my eyes. Which is funny because... The other day I was playing Broken Arrow, which is like a mill sim game, and there's a phase, there's like, you're on a team of five people, and there's a phase where it puts you all on this like, battle map, and c people can draw on the map, and like, be like, oh, attack like this position, and like, this is the plan, and you're supposed to use like, strategy, and I just wrote, come in my eyes, and then, there, then we won the game, and I think, I don't think it was a coincidence, that's all I'm gonna say. I think that I may be a great leader of men. With my simple messaging that the people can understand, you know what I mean? What is your opinion on dwarfs coming back to Earth 2029? Because I heard Elon Musk was trying to get them back from Mars. Um, that'd be pretty cool. I'd like that. I think, like, that, that's that been, like, the main downfall of Earth is that we don't have enough... Um, like, unique races, you know, like, night elves and dwarves and stuff. <clears throat> what game is this, Reginald? This is, uh, this is Meet Your Maker. Pretty cool game. I enjoy it quite a bit. I gotta use my grappling hook more. I kind of got used to not using it. The one thing I'll say about this game, though, is it, does, it doesn't have, like, a satisfying grappling hook. You know what game had a satisfying grappling hook was um, Apex Legends. Like, you could, you could swing on it. This one's just, like, you know, straight lines. That's all it does. Which is alright, but it's not great. What gamer sub flavor is best? Um, honestly, I enjoy there's one called... Um, so depressed, as in like so depressed. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, all things considered. Come over here, big guy. Come on, follow me. I need to get you in the open. I'm going to cut you up. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's two. There's two. There's two. I'm out of here. Whoa. Come on, guy. Oh, one of them died in the acid. <laughs> there we go. Reggie, how can I get a girlfriend? Okay, I know this is you know probably like not a legitimate question. The most important thing... The most important thing to getting a girlfriend is to... Um, the most important thing to getting a girlfriend is to not be focused on getting a girlfriend like you have to make yourself um you have to make yourself like a a, a complete person because like when, when your focus in life is like oh i need to get a girlfriend i need to get a girlfriend like you can't interact with women normally when that's like what you're thinking like you have you have to find something that brings meaning into your life and then you won't be so like fucking weird around women you'll just be able to interact with them like normal people and you'll have the added benefit of, like, looking really cool because you have, like, a passion or something that you care about. And that's way easier... Oh, fuck. It's way easier said than done. <laughs> but, uh... 
It's it's true, man. And I know it's like the most cliched advice. It's like, oh, stop looking and you'll find it. But there's some truth to it. You you have to um. You have to uh, find something you find meaningful. Okay. Well, I figured out how to kill the guys that sneak up on me. I just walk in this room and the whole thing explodes. Very sweet. Reggie, I watch you to forget my pathetic life, not to be called out for it. Hey, listen. You know what? Here's the thing. I believe that you can change. Because I changed. I changed into like a, a, a worse version of myself in some ways, but that's okay. Um, I'm doing something that I really enjoy, and... Uh, it took me it took me many years to to find it and to have the courage to do it, and I, I'm not I'm not just like I'm not saying I'm a hero or anything. I just like it. It can be hard to pursue the things that we find meaningful um, because maybe society doesn't respect it. But um, I think we can all I think we can all you know get there. If we're willing to put in the work. Stunning and brave YouTuber. Yes, Reggie uh, saves the world. Basically, I'm a savior, savior complex. Reggie, do you wear jock straps or panties? Well, there's nothing to say you can't do both. There's nothing to say I, I, I don't do both. I'm gonna put down Phoenix Pod. My problem isn't getting a girlfriend; it's keeping a girlfriend. Yeah, tell me about it, man. Um, tell me, tell me about. It. Reggie, do you do you brew your own toilet water? No, I brew um I brew wine in my toilet. I it's a very like conveniently shaped and sized receptacle for brewing like a singular batch of wine. Please don't do a face reveal. You're my hero with no face. Yeah, I just I don't know like how many times a face reveal has ever like gone well for a streamer or any online personality. I think it like. Nine out of ten times, most people are just disappointed, or they're, or they're like, "Oh, that's weird. I really didn't think he would look like that." Like, not even that it's, it's ugly. It's just, it's just weird. And I think that there's a certain, there's a certain advantage to like um, being this like formless figure that people can, that people can imagine you however they want. I think there's something good about that. I'll give you some lore though. I I did I did send Cleeper a, a picture. I, this is legitimate. This is not this is not a lie. And you can ask him. I did this. I sent to Cleeper a photo of me grabbing my crotch, and uh, he said it looked nice. So you can, <laughs> you can interpret that however you want. I don't watch Cleeper, but did he do a really funny two-second face reveal to make fun of Dream? I think I'm dyslexic. But he do it... Well, didn't he do it? I, I don't know. He possibly. I know he's like his face is uh, very like public knowledge. Uh, it's not hard to find. Cleeper is the real one. Cleeper is. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. <laughs> An idiot. Attack me. I thought you were good at this game. I'm absolutely spectacular at this game. Are you watching? Are you seeing with your own two eyes? Watch this. Watch these APMs as I nervously and cautiously navigate this area. Watch me parry this fire. Uh oh. No problem. No problem. What else? What else? How are you going to kill me, man? Are you going to use these things again? Yeah, and that hasn't been working out so well. Ugh. Such a good panic button to have the <laughs> to have the shield. I love it. I don't know how to get a boyfriend to be honest. Oh, they're way easier. I get the I get boyfriend requests on it. Boy, you're an asshole, bro. <laughs> a daily basis. Oh, okay, we're out of here. Well, that was that was pretty challenging. I mean, wow, you're 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 something else, buddy. 
He put that thing there to get me on the way out. For a level 18, not bad. Give him fun and ingenious. Chad, I could offer you a way. You could, you could live in Reggie's walls. Would you accept? I don't even need to have a poll for that. I'm late to the stream. How close are we to the man milk gamer sup receptacle? Well... The thing is, Gamer Subs doesn't know. They don't know about the man milk um, design yet. So it's, it's you know, it's it's in progress. I'm gonna have to use some charisma. I'm going to have to do some convincing. But I think by the end of the year, there's a very strong possibility that we could have the first and only um, homoerotic Gamer Subs flavor. So. <clears throat> Reggie, what the hell is on my head? Ah, uh, it looks kind of like a fire extinguisher on one side with like some weird armor plating and like a tube. An industrial water heater, possibly. <clears throat> okay, how many more of these do we have? Also, what time is it? My neighbors have like a very low tolerance for listening to me. You know, the walls are very thin. They have a low tolerance for listening to me talk about like inspecting people's uh, the fucking schlongs and uh, talking about bodily fluids at late hours of the night. Well, it's actually, I, I think they're chill, but they have kids. So that's part of the issue. Reggie, are you staying up again like last time? Oh, no, actually, my sleep schedule is mostly fixed. Um, I think, actually, I went to bed last night at 3 a.m., so I'm kind of lying to you. This looks like a real shit brick house. I can't wait to get in there. Let's just go as fast as we can. All these carefully laid traps that you put down, I'm ignoring them. Sorry, my friend. Hope you're not planning on me doing anything. <laughs> well... Truly, running really fast is the best base for um, navigating traps. The thing is... I think we've taken a wrong turn, because... The gen mat has to be available for the harvester. So it's gotta be... Like one of these things maybe where's the harvester at oh it's up here i rushed the wrong direction oh okay not bad not bad guy that was a pretty good roll we were on, though. Reggie, can you do Baldur's Gate again? Um, yeah, I don't have any plans to do Baldur's Gate for a long time. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to give you, like, a, a, a politician's answer. I'll be like, well, we're working on it. It's like, no, I don't have any plans. Uh-oh. Uh but uh, Brilliant Stupidity just released a Baldur's Gate video that is, um, without a doubt, some of his best work yet. So you might enjoy checking that out. It might, you know, tickle your... Tickle your tism in all the right places. Ouch. Shit. I like to think you look like a hiver IRL. Um, I look like a hiver. But maybe like a little bit. Since I started doing YouTube, I've like not been going to the gym as much. So I probably look like a something approximating a hiver. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, he survives. What? Reggie, would you prefer to have a dick-sized nipple or a nipple-sized dick? Um, damn, bro. You're really asking these hard questions. You, you, you couldn't have asked something easier, like like uh, maybe something about like Ukraine or like Palestine. You had to really go for the heavy hitters here. Um, load me up with the nips. Give me those long ones. I'm ready. 
the, the world might, might not be ready for it, but I'm ready. Do you think you should vote for yourself or for society? I don't know, man. I don't vote. I, I've never voted. I'm, like, so... So jaded with, with politicians. Hello. Hello, little man. I'm right here. I'm not going to hurt you. Whoa, you were going to hurt me, weren't you? You were going to pound me into the dirt. Yes, you were. Speaking of, what's your opinion on Ukraine and... <laughs> ah... Um, yeah, I'm, uh, contractually obligated not to answer either of those questions. I'm already navigating a death trap in-game. I don't need to be doing it, like, through, uh, through my voiceover as well. Oh, we get the stuff. Amazing. Speed, 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 speed. Man, I used to be scared to do these mazes by myself. I'm not gonna lie. I used to be like, oh man, the brutal mazes. Like, I'm nervous and then I'm gonna die a lot. And then the people are gonna see the replay of me dying like 40 times. They're gonna make fun of me. And it, it freaked me out. It, it genuinely did. Reggie, have you played Darktide? Uh, no. No, I haven't. Um, I thought that Vermintide was, like, it was entertaining enough for, like, maybe a dozen hours of gameplay. And then after that, I was like, uh, it's, it's alright. And I just kind of thought that I might have the same experience with Darktide. Reggie, have you played Noita? No, I haven't. I'm, I've heard of it. I don't really know what it is. It's some kind of indie game, I think. Reggie, can I watch the stream on the toilet? Because I am watching on the toilet. Yeah, that's the recommended uh, viewing experience, is to watch all of my streams on the toilet. Kind of like the minimum system requirements, even. Have you played Hell Let Loose? No. I was thinking about this the other day. My my method for like playing games is okay. My mouse is disconnecting. <laughs> don't use a wireless mouse, kids. It's really a bad experience. I was thinking about this the other day. I don't play like a lot of games. I play a few games like autistically. You know, like I'll get one thing and I'll just hyper focus on it. Um, which is good for certain games, but you know, not perfect for everything. Oh, oh, you cheeky boy. You've anticipated my, my panic. I'm doing this without Phoenix Pods, which is, like, not making it easy on me, but, you know. Oh, God, what got me there? Bolt shot from that, okay. What tax bracket are you in, Reggie? Well, uh, officially, or... Of, like, uh, officially, or are we talking... Actually, I, I literally can't make jokes about tax fraud. The, the CRA will... They'll, they'll, um, they'll get really upset about that. People, like... They do not mess around about, you know, taking your money. A, they are very serious about it. They want it and they're willing to, like, prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law if they even suspect that you're not giving them all of your money. When is your next doctor's appointment? Um, I'm actually, I am trying to get an ultrasound. Not because I'm pregnant. Do not spam the pregnant man emoji in the chat. Um, I found, like, a lump on my neck, and I was like, oh, man, I really hope I don't have lymphoma. 
because this kind of looks like lymphoma. <laughs> kind of feels like lymphoma. Um, so I am trying to get an ultrasound. I used to work um, in a hospital, and I saw a lot of people die of cancer, and it was, like, um, pretty rough. And so maybe I'm just, like, a little, like, sensitive to that. I'm like, am I dying of cancer? Uh, but hopefully not. Oh, no, they're doing it. The pregnant man. <laughs> oh, just when I was least expecting it. I didn't think they could do it. I didn't think it was available. <laughs> Why is that available? How many times have you had it? Wait, what? How many times have I had what? <laughs> Gregnant. Gregnant Reg. What's your opinion on oiled up men wrestling? Or is it all memes? A lie even? I'm just saying, if you watch Gachi Muchi, which is like where a lot of those like oiled up men wrestling uh, scenes come from, but you put the, the um, You Say Run uh, soundtrack with it, it's like a pretty compelling, it's a pretty compelling fight scene. It's pretty nice. It's, I enjoy it greatly. Terribly even. Okay, this is the, the hallway of acid that everyone loves so dearly. I'm gonna die, and it's going to really annoy the shit out of me. Okay, here we go. Oh, he put a laser trap in there too. That's really sweet. You can see it ricochets off the surfaces. Let's go, let's go. Why would you do this, bro? Oh my god, I got through that? Are you kidding me? I was just pressing buttons randomly, dude. <laughs> Stay mad, you freaking losers. Wow, there's so many of those things. I just timed that like the grace of God. Now I gotta be really careful because I'll feel terrible if I die after doing that. Reggie, is there a custom room designer in this game? Yeah, all of the rooms are custom designed. These are all made by other people. Don't get stressed. It's bad for the baby. It's true. He's going to come out with like some terrible defects. What's your opinion on Bergenville, the youngest country in the world? I don't know. I haven't heard of it. Tell me about Bergenville. Good try, man. I'm gonna tell you, as soon as I pick this up, that wall... That wall is going to be an invisible wall, and this entire hallway is going to be full of traps. Okay, apparently... Oh! Oh, it was an invisible wall! Thank God, because I really didn't want to have to go through those pistons again. Alright, nice. Well, some people let you off uh, easy. Very nice. Very nice. Reggie, I have a Dota addiction that is probably worse than drugs. Should I just do the drugs instead? Oh man, I, I ran into the same issue with, um, it wasn't Dota. It was Satisfactory. And I dove into that thing head first. I lost myself for literally, I think... I think weeks. I watched on my second monitor. I watched through like like four different TV shows back to back while I was playing Satisfactory. The, the wisdom I have to offer you is that if you just if you steer into it hard enough, you you'll just become sick of it, and then you'll like you know it'll be like a couple it'll be like a week of uh, no productivity, and then after that you'll never play Dota again. So just really push it as far as you can, you know. Oh, like, you, you like smoking cigarettes? Here, have a whole carton of cigarettes. You know, like that kind of thing. Don't bring up Satisfactory or Factorio. I'm trying not to relapse. Oh, man, they're put, I'm pretty sure they just put out a big update for Satisfactory. The only thing that stops me from relapsing is how much of a pain in the ass it is to get through, like, tiers 1 to 5. It's just so much legwork. Have you heard of Mr. Hands? This is old, this is old news. Everyone, come on, everyone knows who Mr. Hands is. Oh, look how cute my guy is in the corner here. Oh, that's like a skin or something. I like that. Vote on Lodo. No, 
We're not voting on the loadout. I'm not being subjected to the no grappling hook lifestyle any longer. Instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to press the BRB button. And then I'm going to check my Discord for some community maps. And we're going to do some community maps. All right, let's see, let's see. Okay, I have to search for some maps. Okay, so this is Wasteland Drifter, and the outpost name is <clears throat> Mishikot. No results, damn. Oh, I spelled that wrong. No results, damn. Wasteland Drifter. Mishikot by Wasteland Drifter. What if I just searched Mishikot? Okay, I found it. All right, I have now located. I've now located. This is the map that was submitted to me. Someone in the uh, the Discord gave this to me. Uh, Wasteland Drifter. This is his map. I don't know what this says. Something about abs? Oh yeah, well, we're, we're just going to try it. <clears throat> this, this guy says vote on loadout. This isn't a democracy, man. This is me. I'm wearing the big fancy pompadour wig, and I'm wearing the, the dictator outfit. And I've got this big staff, and I'm just walking around... It's, you know, making you people starve to death. That's what this is. That's what it has always been. That's what it's going to be. This is called Blowhive Labs. Okay, well, 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 I'll be the judge of that, I suppose. Yes, yes, I love it. I, I love hearing you guys call for votes. It, it, then I can, I can extract more schadenfreude when I purposefully chose, I choose to deny you the votes. Okay, going through the maze, following the blood stain. Always a promising idea. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. And it's all a dead end. Okay, I feel as though I may have taken a wrong turn. It's all right. Hmm. It's a cute spot. Cute little place. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Maybe, maybe you don't know. Hmm. This is like a subgenre of maze that like not a lot of people do, which is mazes that make you get lost. And when you get lost, you know your defenses can can get kind of low. You start getting complacent. Oh, I found our guy. Came from this direction, so we must have to go in this direction. Oh. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Phoenix pod, let's go. Oh yes. Oh man, I thought I had my uh, defensive item, but it was on cooldown. Where are you at, guy? No? There's one more somewhere. What does the little robot guy do? Yeah, he does his best. Um, basically, there's, there's like a mine. There's like a little drill somewhere in this maze, and it's extracting genetic material. And the robot guy 
he goes and he gets the genetic material and then he puts it in his backpack and he takes it to like a little helicopter and then that gets taken back to the owner of this base it gets taken back to their their headquarters i know that's a kind of convoluted because well it is but um he's just a gatherer basically And, uh, is, you guys seem to like the small robot. That's, that's cute. Uh, I think around Christmas time, he had, like, a Santa Claus outfit on, which was, you know, it was quite nice. Okay. What? So that's the stuff we need. Grabbing it, leaving... Oh, you guys like the small robot guy, huh? Yeah, what do we think about that? What do you think about that? What's your... You almost had me. What the hell is this? What the hell? What was he shooting me with? Reggie, you will pay. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I will. I really don't think I will. Ha ha ha. You can't stop me. They've been trying to stop me for years. Oh. <laughs> Reggie, which species are you? Are you a mutation of a different species? I'm one of God's very own prototypes. Considered too weird to live, but also too rare to die. Following the little, the little man will lead me to the correct path, and then once I no longer require his assistance, I will kill him. Did you see the correlation that if you kill the dude, you also die? Well, that's just nonsense. I'm about to prove it right now. So I just find my way through here by myself, because I'm a grown human. Don't need no help. Don't you dare. Oh, I dared. Now watch me. Watch me kill all these people. Someone put on the Doom music. Ah, okay, mostly though. Pretty good. Like, not bad. Alright. Do you watch the Premier League or uh, soccer? No, man, I don't watch any uh, sports. Well, sometimes I watch MMA, but um, <clears throat> generally, no, 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 no sports. Would you rather marry a beautiful woman or get? Re I would rather get wrestled by one of those oily men. You know what's actually a lot of fun is, I used to have a, I used to go to university, and we we had a fight club. And just me and the guys, you know, after, like, on a Friday, we would all meet in, like, this, the, uh, we had, like, a society room for the program that we were in. And we would meet there, and we would just wrestle each other. You know, just a couple of guys. Sometimes it was the summer, so it was quite hot, so we would take our clothes off and just really get a hold of another man's meat. It's really, it's a good, um, anyway. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I died. <laughs> oh no. It had nothing to do with me killing this guy, I'm confident of it. In fact, I probably only lasted as long as I did because I killed that guy. No, but um, you know, re all, in all seriousness, sumo wrestling. I went to a sumo wrestling class once, that was a lot of fun. And, it, I mean, it does involve you, like, grappling with a lot of sweating men, but it's pretty fun. Reggie, if you die one more time, you have to put on the feet cam. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't, I don't want to comply with this. I don't think you have the authority to make these ordinances. I, I reject this. I reject this entirely. Fuck, dude, I'm getting slammed out here. We're getting absolutely throttled. Wait, what am I doing? See, I'm, I'm falling for the trick of, like, believing that I actually have to fight those people. But I think I just don't. Like, what if I just don't fight them? Like, what are they going to do?
Like, watch this. Oh no. Oh, what are you going to do? Half of the time, they're just friendly firing each other. They're <laughs> just friendly firing each other like crazy. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm so, I'm so done here. No, oh, that was the wrong way. Okay. I, I, I went, I, that, that's going to work next time. I'm just not going to fight them. Have you tried playing better? I'd like to see... I'd like to see any of you... in a bikini. Reggie, how long is stream going to be? Uh, let me check. The stream is going to be... approximately... a couple more minutes. Probably until I beat this. It's getting late. I have a slice of pizza that's waiting for me. I want to put it in my mouth and I want to chew it with my teeth. I'm describing a process known as digestion, or at least the stir, the beginning phases of it. Wow, he's out! He's out! Oh my god. Oh my god. Mastication, yes, yes, I see someone took a, a, a biology class, maybe anatomy, physiology. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> look at this. Look at this thing. The gall. I'm gonna parry this. Wow. Wow. Are you all absolutely moist right now? Are you all just soaking in it? What is this? Okay, I don't want to go that way. Whoa. Wow. Okay, so he he appears to have designed several. Oh, I, you know what, guys? Just for fun. I think we have to do this room. I'm doing this room. You can't stop me from doing this room. Just for shits, right? These things aren't that dangerous, really. Whoa, that guy is! That's That man is invisible and apparently explosive. Oh, he was hiding in this little bunker. That's quite cute. What's in this one? Oh, a tomb! I like that. Nice. Edge to reg. Oh my god, that would be like such a great campaign slogan. If I was running for the presidency. I want you to edge to reg. Or edge with reg. We could like work it a little bit. Like, like the, the PR team could come up with like a more effective, but that's... You're onto something there. I really, I want to let you know that. How deep are you in the oiled up men wrestling underground community? Um, I'm pretty deep. I enjoy it. I get a lot of mileage out of it. I have an entire folder for it, if that, I mean, that kind of gives you an idea. Ah, goddamn, boys. I'm gonna like that. That was a fun one. Um... Am I going to make a Helldivers video? I've never played Helldivers, so I don't know. I don't have... I'm not planning on buying it or making a video on it right now. To celebrate our tremendous victory, we're going to press the big red button and watch all of our friends get melted down into the floor and piped through these tubes. See ya. See you later. Bye-bye, everyone. Alright, um... Jeez, that's terribly loud. That, you know, our friends being crunched up into liquid. Anyway, that's going to be it for this stream. I think it was about two hours. This game, Meet Your Maker, it's a lot of fun. I really recommend you guys trying it. I will stream it again. Um, I have more community maps to try out. That was just one at the end. That was, uh, that was a good time. So I want to thank you guys for, you know, g helping me deceive myself into thinking that I have friends. You know, to, I can, I can roleplay this, this, this lifestyle. And, uh, yeah, uh, everyone have a good night, alright? See you later.